Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Pele Yoetz, all about Pesach. And we spoke about yesterday the idea that Chazal tell us, and we learned it in the Haggadah as well, Chayiv Adam Laharis Be'atzma Kilu Hu By the end of the night of the Seder, a person has to be able to see themselves as if they have actually been Yoetzei, they actually had a Geula, a redemption from Mitzrayim. And we said that one of the under, understandings of these words is that since that everybody in their own personal life has their Mitzrayim, has their things that are confining them and restricting them and holding them back from becoming the Yid, the person they're supposed to be, everybody has people in their life that are weighing down on their heads, they have situations that are causing them anxiety and difficulties. Everybody has a Mitzrayim in their life Mitzrayim is a language of Mitzar, to constrict, to confine, to put you like in a box, and there's no escape. Like it says in Chazal, there never was an Evid, there never was a slave that was able to escape from Egypt. So too, Mitzrayim enslaves us. We are enslaved in our minds, we're enslaved in our taivas and our desires. We get enslaved in the lifestyle that we have that is many times antithetical to the Torah way of life. But we are enslaved in Mitzrayim, in our own personal Egypt, the Mitzrayim that we are in. And the night of the Seder, when a person realizes everything that HaKadosh Baruch Hu did for Klal Yisrael, and our Klal Yisrael went with Hashem, and they cried out to Hashem, and they began believing deeply in Hashem, and they realized that they were in a bad place, 49 levels of tomb of impurity, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu is the only one, the Blessed One be He, that could redeem us and rescue us and save us. So they were redeemed from Mitzrayim. They went into the Geula, the ultimate redemption. So to each and every one of us on the night of the Seder, we will have our own personal redemption from the things that are holding us back, locking us into the wrong place, making us look at the world in a way which is not the way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants us to, weakening our Amunah, our Bitachin, and the Rebbeinu Shalom, severing our relationship, our deep spiritual connection with HaKadosh Baruch and therefore it's a great night for everybody. It's a Yitzia, it is an exodus, it is a redemption from our own personal lives of Mitzrayim. But there of course is the Pashit, the simple explanation as well, which is something to keep in mind as the Seder is going on. We have to so much demonstrate to ourselves and to our children that are sitting at the table and anyone else that is joining us and almost eavesdropping in on our conversation of our Amunah in Yetzirah Mitzrayim, we have to do such a good job of crystallizing clear what took place and all the events that led up to the Shibu, to the slavery, and through the slavery, and through the ultimate Geula, the redemption that was there, that just as Klal Yisrael went free on that night, Bechipazayin, instantaneously, HaKadosh Baruch Hu brought them out of Mitzrayim and sent them into the Midbar, to the wilderness, off to freedom, every single one of us, Chayiv Adam, a person is obligated, Laharais Ba'atzma, to see within themselves, Kilu Hu Mitzrayim, it's as if I went out of Mitzrayim as well. I am a link in the chain of the Nishamas of Klal Yisrael that go back thousands of years. And my Nishama is linked in with the Nishamas that were in Mitzrayim. And had it not been for the fact that the Jewish people left Egypt, I would not be standing here today. Had it not been for the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu redeemed our nation, then I wouldn't be living a Torah life, I wouldn't be wherever I'm living in the world, I wouldn't have a wife and children. And if I don't yet have a wife and children, I wouldn't be are waiting for that precious day when it's going to happen. Because that HaKadosh Baruch redeemed our ancestors from Mitzrayim, and He took us out, a chilek, a part of my neshama is in them as well, and therefore, I also went out of Mitzrayim. And if the more that I speak about the wonders and the miracles, and the more that we describe what took place, and we can visualize, and we can put ourselves into that land of Egypt, and we can imagine, we can ponder what it must have been like to be a Jew under the rulership and the enslavement of Paro and his terrible nation. If we could imagine to ourselves what the Makkah is, what all the plagues looked like. There's a famous story with the Chavetz Chaim that they once found him on the night of the Seder and he was chuckling to himself. And they asked him, Rebbe, what are you laughing about? 
And he said, I'm imagining the plague of the wild animals. And the Chazal tells us in the Midrashim that the animals used to chase the mitzvim up into the trees. He says, I'm imagining a mitzvah that thought he was all powerful and almighty and he could do anything he wanted. To Klal Yisrael, he was the worst of the masters. He was so cruel and so mean. Suddenly a lion pops out of nowhere in the middle of Egypt and roars at him and chases him up the tree and the man's running for his life, holding on for dear life on that tree, scared and frightened. I'm just imagining to myself, says the Chavetz Chaim, what that must have looked like. The Chavetz Chaim understood what it means to be in Mitzrayim and to leave Mitzrayim. So we have to do whatever is necessary, whether it is putting on costumes for the kids to bring it to, to life, whether it is talking, telling over amazing stories that put a person in the moment, in the feeling, whether it is to delve into the Mepharshim, to the commentators, to bring out a point that is relatable to yourself and to those that are sitting around your table, whatever a person needs to do, so that by the time that the Seder is over, you actually feel redemption. You actually feel the glory of the Geula. That a person has an obligation to do on the night of the Seder. And in that way, if we do, then as we have the last words of Hallel and the last words of Shia Shirim on our lips, the euphoric feeling of freedom of the exodus of the Geula will be inside the hearts and the minds and the souls of each and every one of us. And we will be able to say with great pride and with great simcha, I'm able to be I can feel it. Whether it's my own personal Mitzrayim or the Mitzrayim that Klai Yisrael escaped and left from and were taken out of, I feel that I am a Jew that is leaving the land of Mitzrayim tonight and I am marching off into freedom so that I can commune together with Hashem. Have a wonderful day.